the five button mouse here with the parts uh two different sub assemblies two parts here so we're going to go through and create an exploded view for probably just this cover subassembly here. So when we have subassemblies in SolidWorks to create those exploded views, we need to open up that subassembly first in SolidWorks. So I just have these three parts here. And to create an exploded view in SolidWorks, we're going to use the configuration manager over here in the tree. So I'll click on that, right click on default, and then click new exploded view. And there I should be able to pull up these two parts, click done, and then I'll pull these out a little bit. So every oh. time we have to move one part, we have to click done. That's what I was looking for you to say. Uh, yeah, we'll get that next step every time there. Uh, from there, we'll click the green check mark. And now our subassembly is exploded. So we'll hop back to our five button mouse uh, full assembly. Now go over to the configuration manager. And again, right click on default, new exploded view. Now, if I just click one of these parts, we'll see this from subassembly color in. So what I'll do is just kind of move this a little bit up here. And when I click from subassembly, it'll pull the uh, exploded view from the actual subassembly and pull those parts apart. Then all I need to do is just click the green check mark, and now we have our subassembly exploded. Okay. So, and now from here, can you go to, I think it's um, assemblies? So, how do you make this, you know, explode and unexplode? Yeah, you go uh, to just double click on exploded view here. Oh, okay. In the configuration manager. That's it's so I also used to go to assemblies. Can you go to assemblies and then hit that exploded? I guess that works. It brings you right into this, it looks like. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna go. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> like, double click on here and then I'll Okay, that's good. 